Hello everybody, this is Dream Master Gaming, back with more custom built on Smash 4. Now, I'm playing as Rosalina Luma, and through the years, I have learned that when playing as Rosalina Luma, nothing, and I mean nothing, is more important than good Luma placement. Which is why today I'll be doing two Luma builds that I made. This one is called Luma the Defender, and as the name suggests, it's made for Rosalina's protection by Luma. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have him attack me. Now, for the Luma to defend a moveset, generally it's best to pick moves where Luma has as much time to get to you as possible. Although, the exception would be for the neutral B, which is Power Luma Shot. This hits with enough force to knock anyone who dares get close to Luma to Rosalina away. Next we have the floaty star bit, which has enough, it covers enough space that the floaty star bit covers enough space that it can block most weak projectiles, and it's good for hitting people against a wall as it hits multiple times and knocks them away each time it hits them. Next we've got Guardian Luma. Grows big, creates a minor shield, doesn't block everything, but blocks enough. And Luma's already pretty good at taking projectiles. But with this, you've essentially got... Here's where Luma placement's gonna be important. So I've got Villager here, right? I launch Luma. And then... I have Luma go here. And that's basically it. It's quick, it's easy to land, it doesn't take too much time, it doesn't take very long for Luma to recover, it's just a simple grow, uppercut, shrink, and then she flies back to position. And the up special doesn't exactly matter, though for me, I prefer the launch star attack as it actually protect lets you attack while you're doing it since most of the time people just try to knock you away while you're doing it it's fast but it doesn't get as much distance since it's sacrificing distance for the attack power and that's it for Luma the Defender we're moving on to the next build in a few seconds Alright, and we're back. The next build that I have for you is a build I call Luma the Sniper. And here's why. That's basically it. Luma, earlier in the video I said that something important for Rosalina and Luma to work well is good Luma placement. And for this, nothing says it better. Because leaving Luma in the right positions essentially allows you to snipe anyone from anywhere. Now, for, my, for this build, I recommend shooting Star Bit because it travels the furthest, which essentially gives you the most time to snipe people. Regular Charge Shot is good because it lets Luma move quickly enough that once she gets to position and stops using the attack, she can immediately snipe someone who's nearby. And for the Down Special, I recommend Catch and Release. I recommend it over the Guardian Luma or anything else because it essentially pulls them in, does damage, knocks them away, and sets them in position for Luma to snipe them again. Up special doesn't matter however, as all of them you just need to recover, get Luma back in position, continue sniping, rinse repeat until the enemy is defeated. Silly villager, you think you can get away from the sniper? Otherwise that, that's all for the Rosalina and Luma the sniper build. Let's see how many other builds I can fit into 30 minutes. Alright, and we're back. The next build that I have for you is a build I call Heavy Duty Yoshi. 
And it's for a few reasons. Like his side B, which is the heavy egg roll. Slower than all the other rolls, but it has armor properties, and it has, well, the strongest attack of all of his rolls. However, it does have the most startup, as it needs to move quickly before it can actually deal damage. So, get some distance. Next, Lick. He doesn't encase you in the egg, but he does hit you with his tongue, which is really strong. Really strong. Has decent launch power. And it's basically a straightforward tongue slap. Next, the power. The crushing bomb. No stars but it's one of the strongest bomb attacks. I don't think the villager likes being licked by Yoshi. What do you guys think? And as far as the up air, just use high jump because it gives you the most distance. It doesn't really matter too much. Since most people don't even use Yoshi's up air for attack most of the time, they usually use it for the recovery. I mean, okay, people do use it, just not a lot. And that'll be all for the Yoshi Heavy Duty Yoshi build. Let's get on to the next build. On to the next build. This is a Meta Knight build that I call Shield Ripper. Now, I don't exactly know how to get them to guard, but essentially, I have the following Shield Breaker Cape, Shield Breaker Tornado, The Dreadful Tornado because it's stronger, and for combo possibilities, Blade Coaster. Now, I'm I'll be I'll see if I can get someone to guard this. But um essentially the the point is to get them to break their shield as soon as possible. Otherwise that it's just Meta Knight. Then again, Meta Knight's pretty broken. And let's that's I guess that's it for Shield Breaker Meta Knight. I can't really test his Shield Breaker property since the CPU is not guarding. But otherwise, that that is Shield Breaker Meta Knight. Uh, enjoy the stuns because they're always satisfying. Okay, next build is for Wii Fit Trainer. I don't have a name for it. So you guys can pick a name in the comments, but otherwise, here's his moveset. He's got the Sweeping Salutation. This is probably my favorite custom move for Wii Fit Trainer because it's just so easy to sweep them away from the stage. Next, we've got Big Header. Perfect for setting up combos with the Sweeping Salutation as it, it bounces at a pretty low, uh, pretty small range. The moment you hit it, it goes flying at them. So if they think they've dodged it... On to the next move. I pick the... I think it's called the Hoop Hurricane. Whatever it's called, I just picked the one that rolls the highest. The other one is pretty average, and... Uh, option number two is made for distance and not for height. I always prefer smash attacks that give you height over distance. There are exceptions. Anyway, enough wasting time. 
let's get to the down special, which is explosive breathing. 